Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and today I'm going to talk to you about artificial sweeteners. If they're good, bad, ugly. How much you can have? Should you have it? Should you replace it? What can we do about it? Common question. And please, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Please share with your friends and make sure you subscribe so you can get more videos to improve your knowledge. question is, is it better to have sugar or artificial sweetener? Well, here's the answer. Natural sugars, which are found in the fruits, which are found in, you know, carbohydrates that, that come from natural sources, is okay, as long as you're not over consuming it, right? But then the question is, if it is raising your blood sugars with diabetes, what do you do? I mean, can you artificially sweeten your strawberries if you have a sweet tooth? Yeah, perfectly okay. Are they harmful? Not necessarily, unless you are using a ton of it. Aspartame uh, and other artificial sweeteners, they have been looked at multiple times. Guess what? They do not cause cancer. Again, it's, it's dose related. If you, if you overdose on something constantly on a daily basis, if you start making cakes and desserts from these artificial sweeteners, you will have a problem. Now, a lot of artificial sweeteners are also alcohol sugars. They generally end with like OL, like sorbitol or mannitol. Those things will give you severe gastrointestinal upset, diarrhea, uh, bloating, gas, and all that stuff that you're not going to enjoy later. So I would suggest avoiding those. Is stevia better than the natural artificial sweetener versus Splenda or whatever? Uh, or, um, you know, the other things in the market, I don't even remember the names right now. Um, are they any better? Not necessarily. I mean, uh, so uh, the Stevia versus Splenda, there's really no evidence to say the Stevia is better than Splenda. Uh, all of them may also actually increase your blood sugar a little bit. They are uh, typically, you know, multiple times sweeter than a regular sugar. So as a result, you know, you don't have to use much of it. And most of them are uh, negligible calories. Uh, but if you have type 1 diabetes, for example, or if you're extremely insulin resistant, you may come and say, hey, you know, that also increases my blood sugar. Yes, it can, of course. But also, what you're having it with can increase your blood sugar as well. Like people, for example, will have coffee in the morning and their blood sugar will go up. Well, coffee makes you insulin resistant. No, and they think that the Suplenda or the Stevia is causing the high blood sugar. However, it's the coffee, for example, that's doing it. Or they will, for example, think that uh, strawberries are free food and they can just have as many as they want and they put a bunch of Splenda on them and they say, oh, Splenda caused my high blood sugar. Well, not really. So, again, the cancer data is missing. Now, the thing is, does it really help you? Like, using sweeteners uh, does it really help you. The studies show that actually it does not. You know, that's funny, isn't it? Like, you are supposedly, you know, you're replacing your sugars, uh, the calories, with uh, Splenda or Stevia, and you're not really losing weight. And I can, I can attest to that. I mean, I, I use Splenda and Stevia all the time, and, and when I'm trying to lose weight, they don't help me at all. You know why? <laughs> Here's why. Because I end up replacing uh, those foods that are that I'm thinking that I'm saving calories with. Let's say I'm drinking a diet c Coke, and guess what? I order French fries, for example. I'm not always. Just don't get me wrong. Uh, but you know, like let's say you. Um, uh, you save on the calories you think uh, on your coffee with Splenda or, or Stevia, and then you end up ordering a dessert. Yeah, well, uh, if not dessert, I mean, you may end up having an extra potato, having a little bit extra rice, because you think that you're saving calories. And that is the main reason people are not able to. But if you are not replacing, if you're very conscious of it, yes, I am using uh, sugar substitutes, uh, but I'm not replacing those calories with some other calories, uh, then, then you're in a good shape. Uh, if you are in that group of people who have a, you know, mindset of why they're using Suplenda, right? You're not using Suplenda to cheat. That's the important thing. If you're using Suplenda uh, in that f uh, frame of mind that you do not want to put artificial sugar to your body, uh, then you wouldn't be eating that dessert or french fries anyways.
Does it make sense? In a nutshell, you can use Splenda, you can use Stevia, you can use um, sugar alcohols, uh, but make sure if you are, make sure you look at the labels, make sure you look at the total carbohydrates in there. Sugar-free uh, does not necessarily mean that it's in, you know, it's not going to raise your blood sugars because all these carbohydrates in these uh, foods will turn into sugar. Um, and then be mindful when you're consuming those things. Do you not consume too much? You know, when people ask me how, many, how much Diet Coke can I have, I'm like, hey, what's wrong with having one or two? But come on, you don't have a full, you know, box of uh, Diet Coke in a day. You, you know, you have to make some changes and you need to know why you're making those changes and you need to have a very positive frame of mind about uh, the changes you're making and being consistent with it. Your actions, your thought process should be consistent uh, and if you can achieve that you will be able to get your blood sugars down you will be able to get your health together uh, and you will have a happy and wonderful life thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video guys remember to subscribe remember to share and give a thumbs up see you in the next video